The Honourable Leader of the Second Opposition. Thank you, uh, Madam Speaker. There are over 6,800 adults with intellectual disabilities in Manitoba who depend on caregivers, and because of their disabilities, these people are very often very vulnerable. Individuals with disabilities will have hundreds of caregivers over their lifetime, which means there's little continuity of care, and these workers are the front line of the front line, caring for some of the most vulnerable people in our society, people who deserve to be treated with dignity. Yet workers are expected to do work that health care aides and even nurses cannot do for as little as $12.15 an hour with no training. I table a petition with 9,368 signatures calling for this government to increase the pay for people caring with adults for adults with disabilities. Will the Premier step up to make sure that vulnerable people are properly cared for and workers properly paid in this province? The Honourable Minister of Families. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker, and I thank the, uh, the member for this question. We take the uh, issues and the challenges surrounding persons with disabilities very seriously. Madam Speaker, that's why we're increasing the funding and the budget by more than $13.6 million uh, for, this, uh, for, uh, for um, persons with disabilities, Madam Speaker. And I would suggest that members opposite voted against that. So if they really care about this issue, that I would suggest that voting against it is not the right way to go. Yeah, good job. The Honourable Leader of the Second Opposition on a supplementary question. Madam Speaker, this government ran on a promise to protect the most vulnerable. We are talking about with people with disabilities who depend on others to care for them. I have been visited more than once by the parents of those vulnerable people. Caregivers in Manitoba require no training. They only have to have a grade 10 education. Yet, with no training, they may be expected to dispense powerful medication that even nurses with extensive medical education would not be allowed to do. They are expected to do work that health care aides cannot do for a fraction of the cost. Will this government protect people with disabilities and support caregivers by making sure there is training for caregivers to prevent medical errors? The Honourable Minister of Families. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Speaker. And uh, I do want to just take this opportunity to thank all those caregivers who work and the incredible work that they do uh, with persons with uh, intellectual disabilities in our province. Uh, the work that they do every day uh, just is, is incredible for th these uh, individuals, Madam Speaker. I've already stated uh, that uh, we're increasing the funding by more than $13.6 million in the CLDS uh, budget, Madam Speaker. And what did members opposite do? They voted against it. The Honourable Leader of the Second Opposition on a final supplementary. Madam Speaker, disabilities advocates have made it quite clear that that extra funding is only going up because there are more people entering the system. It isn't actually adding to any extra pay. Um, this government is once again charging ahead with changes without asking stakeholders and patients how they'll be affected using a process called building on abilities that is a holdover from the NDP. I table a news report from today that shows the Manitoba League for Persons which, with Disabilities, which was founded in 1974, has had its funding cut. They said this government made it harder to get funding, tried to set up, they tried to set up meetings to find out the criteria for applications and how to submit applications, but the talks went nowhere. We've heard that agencies are now facing cuts of 14 to 44 percent. The League for Disabilities Treasurer says, quote, there are so many gaps in disability health care that Manitobans will suffer, end quote, because if the League isn't around, there will be no one to fight for equal treatment. Why is this government undermining agencies who are only advocating for equal and fair treatment for vulnerable people? The Honourable Minister of Families. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. And if the member opposite truly cares about uh, persons with intellectual disabilities in our province, Madam Speaker, he should not have voted uh, against our budget, Madam Speaker. I would suggest that uh, he should listen to Manitobans, listen to those caregivers, listen to those with lived experience and in intellectual disabilities. They will know that within this budget there is, uh, there is more money uh, there uh, for persons with intellectual disabilities, Madam Speaker. The member opposite should get on board. We, we're about finding solutions uh, to very challenging issues in our province, Madam Speaker. He needs to get on board and help with this. Yeah.